conceptual people talk Real about talk, it, it throwing shots. all of the elements good morning everyone happy new year's you guys happy new year's um wishing you a happy new year's a pros a prosperous healthy productive new years for 2021 i wish you nothing but well-being i wanted to shoot this little quick video i am in the grocery store parking lot because i have a couple things that i still need to complete my um new year's dinner but i wanted to shoot a word of encouragement because i mean some people are happy and elated they had they've had all these good things happen to them this year and i praise god for that i'm glad that that's in the hearts and the minds of some people but this video is for the people that is not happy the people that's hurting right now the people that have lost relationships like they've broken up with their their um their husbands or their wives or their significant others and they're going through a really hard time financially and they just don't know where they fit in in the scheme of things and i'm saying to you right now your season is coming everybody has a season we're going to praise god and celebrate the other people that are doing extremely well and we're going to wait with great expectancy in knowing that god has something so much better and uh, so this is a, a word of encouragement to you my sister or my brother uh you just lost a relationship and you're, you're pondering you know what happened why didn't it work uh, you know how could they treat me this this way or you know how could she treat me this way how could he treat me this way and the answer is unfortunately people change they change their feelings change towards other people and we can't force them to be there for us or to accept us in their lives if they've decided to move on we have to love ourselves enough I'm sorry let me cut this radio down we have to love ourselves enough to say well okay I'm worthy I know that I'm a good person I know that God loves me and he accepts me and I love and I accept myself and I have to understand that this season this this time is over for me and this other person and I'm not just talking about um, romantic relationships I'm talking about platonic relationships because I believe if we are as good to our platonic relationships as we are to romantic relationships we could have healthier relationships so we got to be good to our to our family members to our sisters to our brothers to our mothers our fathers and all all the people that are you know like foundational people people that that are a part of our lives first before we even think about bringing a stranger in and loving them correctly and this is what i mean you can tell a lot about a person by how they handle their relatives especially how they handle their mothers and their fathers you can tell a lot about those people and don't think for a moment that you know don't think for a moment that they can be better to you that they can be better to you than they are to the people that have been in their lives forever now i know there are reasons why some people decide not to deal with relatives but sometimes it could be the most minute thing the simplest thing that a communicate you know a, a conversation could cure and solve if we just commute if we learn how to healthy to be healthy and communicate in a healthy manner a lot of disagreements and a lot of broken relationships can be mended and brought back together and I just wanted to speak a little bit about that because I think that's important a lot of people feel as though the most re important relationship in the world is a romantic relationship and it's not it's not <coughs> excuse me so I wanted to speak on that but this message is really for people that have lost mates for the season the holiday season is really hard when you're going through a breakup and I just want to encourage you because I know right now I felt what you felt you know I'm gonna be real a lot of people don't like to admit you know that they've been through bad breakups or that somebody walked out on them or left them I'm the first one to say I've been there 
and it don't feel good the rejection that you experience while you're going through that it's it's it's, it's almost like it's unbearable you don't want to feel it so you just want to do anything in the world to not feel that rejection but unfortunately if that person is not for you that's the most healthy thing you could feel right now it's the, re the rejection to go through that process of rejection to actually grieve that relationship forgive yourself if you had anything uh, any part of it and forgive the other person so that you can move on and be better in your next coming relationship but don't ever try to hold on to someone that's hurting you don't ever do that because it's just going to prolong your healing process and it's just going to make you miserable for I don't know how long just depends on how long you stay in that toxic relationship or that toxic environment it's just gonna you're just gonna be I don't know it's gonna make it harder for you to purge those unhealthy feelings the longer that you stay in it that's I guess that's what I'm trying to say so it's best to um, it's, it's uncomfortable as it is to grieve a relationship that's over we have to go through th those processes now unfortunately because we don't like the feeling of rejection some people immediately go jump into another one <laughs> that's the last thing we need to be doing we need to figure out what part did i play in the demise of this relationship and if i didn't play a part why was my radar so off you know how could i allow this person to have so much of my heart when i didn't get anything in return those are things that we need to ask ourselves the why's and we need to figure out why and so we have to do our work so I'm saying to every broken-hearted soul out there cast your cares upon the Lord you ask you know my prayer when I went whenever I went through a bad breakup or whatever I would pray about it I would ask God to forgive me and help me to forgive myself any in any wrongdoing that I contributed toward the relationship and I would ask God to help me remove them out of my heart because I need to move on. I can't be stuck here and that person is gone already. I guarantee you the very person that you're grieving right now has already moved. Nine times out of ten, they've already moved on. So then you're over here suffering. You're crying. You're depressed. You're saying, why me? And you're having this big pity party and and you're doing all these destructive things to your emotions and you know what your emotions is tied to your physical body so then you're doing all this unhealthy stuff to your body and your spirit over somebody that's already moved on you know i'm trying to bring it home i want you guys to understand that when that door closes when that season is over you still have a responsibility to love yourself back to life and how we do that is we give the hurt to God. We say, Lord, I don't want it anymore. Take it from me. Help me heal my heart. And whatever I missed in this relationship, Lord, make me wiser for the next. And you have to free your heart so you can't hold on to un any unforgiveness towards the other person. Because to me, that's just too much weight. That's just too much negative, toxic energy. You know, there are people walking around here today still mad at their ex-spouses or their ex-lovers from 20 years ago. 20 or more years ago. So you mean to tell me that you've held on to all that heavy, ugly, toxic weight inside of you? Can you imagine what that's doing to your psyche? Can you imagine to what, what that's doing to your physical body? It's not healthy. Let it go. Forgive, ask to be forgiven, and move forward. And how I know that people are holding on to relationships that ended 15, 20 years ago is because they take it out on the children. That's how I know. If you have an ex-mate, and I'm speaking real. I always speak real. That's why a lot of people don't like me, but I don't care. I'm not here to be liked. I just want our people to open our minds and be healthier people and learn how to en engage each other in a healthy, productive way. So I don't care if I have to take the hit, I'll take it. But if you have a child with somebody and 
this person has not presented any harm towards the child or the children and they they want to be a part of your children's lives and you fight hair tooth and nail so they cannot be a part of your children's lives you're holding on to unforgiveness and toxic behavior and you're teaching that same unforgiveness and toxic behavior to your your children and then they go on and they teach it to their children and then it just continues and we have to stop that we have to learn how to let people go forgive them so what they cheated on you so what they didn't want to be in a full-time relationship with you so what if you know you found out that they were deceiving you yes those things hurt but if we hold on to that hurt we will never heal and somebody else is going to pay for it if it's not your child it's going to be your next mate your next mate is your next mate that maybe god sent to you to come into your life to help you to love you to pour into you you might end up hurting them because you're holding on to what brother did 10 years ago or sister did 10 years ago we have to learn how to forgive each other we have to learn how to be okay when the doors close and we have to learn how to truly love and accept ourselves understanding that our maker whoever that is loves and accepted us because he created us so I wanted to shoot this little video because I know a couple people personally that it's hurting right now and I want to just encourage them that I've been there too and that you know we've all been there if we're if we're really honest with ourselves we've all been in that situation to where we say wow did I miss this why and we we need to ask those questions why but we we also need to let them go because holding on to somebody that don't want to be there anymore is only going to hurt you worse and they're going to treat you worse and and I'm just saying we're better than that we deserve so much more we deserve peace we deserve all the love that God has for us. And it's somebody out there for you. But don't miss that person that's out there for you grieving somebody that left you years ago or months ago or weeks ago. So this video, I wanted to encourage my sisters and my brothers that have faced, you know, breakups or that have went through the holidays single. You know what? I would rather be single and alone for the holidays to be with somebody that's being pretentious with me or cheating on me or abusing me or lying to me and they telling two or three other women the same thing i would rather be alone and wait with great expectancy on who god really has for me so i want to encourage you all today to make sure that you've done your work and to make sure your energy is so positive and it's so free that you're gonna attract like-minded people. You're gonna attract people that are, they want love just as much as you want love. They don't want any games. They don't wanna play with you. They don't wanna hurt you. They don't wanna manipulate you or anything like that. They wanna be there for you, to grow with you, to build with you. And, and you're gonna know those people, but you have to be healthy first. So this video is to encourage every person that experienced a breakup, that went through the holidays alone, I'm telling you, sister or brother, there's somebody out there that's going to knock your socks off, but you got to be healthy enough to recognize that person. And you know what? He, he or she may not look like what you've been chasing or pursuing. He or she may not look like that person, but have a beautiful heart and a beautiful spirit. It's going to be something about that person that's going to attract you to them, but it may not be what it's always been maybe that's the problem we're, we're too and i know men women are too but men especially you're visually stimulate you know you like oh man you, you like to see that eye candy or whatever but it may be that certain eye candy that can't give you the whole relationship that you deserve so be a little bit more open i know some people they always say man i don't care what a person is saying if they don't have these features or they don't have that features it's just not going to work then you're superficial sorry to tell you you're superficial they may have something way above than the the physical attributes of a person it could be internal so we need to take our time slow down get to know the person go beyond the physical and see if there's something that 
is constant about them something that is i want to say see if they have substance further than than they're just physical appearances so i'm i'm gonna go because i need to get my day started but i just wanted to drop in because i'm i'm always gonna be for the people that are hurting because god sent us you know he wants us to love each other and and he wants us to love each other back to life and how we do that is that we recognize that there are people out there hurting right now everybody's not happy everybody's not good and it's okay not to be good i'm telling you sister or brother that i love you as your imperfect self but i love you too much to leave you this way so you're gonna always be hearing this little <laughs> This little voice that could be annoying you, like, eh, she's always talking about positive stuff or she's always talking about growing. Because you know what? My grandmother did me that way. It would be maybe six o'clock in the morning, and my grandmother, I thought, would be fussing at me whenever I would be at her home. And I'd be like, oh my God, does this woman ever shut up? But she didn't because she knew I had something great inside of me. And in order for me to get it out, she had to irritate me a little bit. You know, like sandpaper, you know, how you want to make a surface smooth and pretty so you can paint it and it could just be glorious. That's what she was doing. She was that sandpaper. Every time she said, no, you need to make sure you do this. You need to make sure you do that. Or don't ever forget to pray. Because of my grandmother telling me, don't ever forget to pray. I pray. I have prayer time every day every single day but she planted seeds in me and that's all i'm trying to do to the people my people that i absolutely love and adore i'm just trying to plant seeds and if one person can get something from this then i've done my job so i want to encourage you guys to be waiting on god with great expectancy have gratitude in your heart that you made it through COVID-19, the pandemic, you're in a new year, you have the opportunity to do whatever you want with this year. The, you know, I wanna encourage you to wait on God with great expectancy, hold your head up, forgive the people that hurt you, allow them to move on, you move on and everything, I promise you, you're gonna look back on that day when that person walked out your life and I'm, I know that some people do you dirty. I mean, they really do you dirty, but you're going to look back on that time and say, wow, that almost did me in, but I'm still here. And look, I'm married. I got the best thing that I've ever had in my life. God really blessed me. That's why he allowed that relationship to end because he knew that wasn't your best. So I want to encourage you guys to be waiting with great expectancy and waiting on God for his best because he got something better in store for you. Hold your head up. And, and stay prayerful and just be positive and have a heart full of gratitude. When you wake up in the morning, if all you got to be grateful for is your life, thank you, Lord, that you woke me up this morning and you keep pushing through. I love y'all. Be encouraged. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. Talk Real about talk, I ain't throwing shots. All of the elements. <laughs>